Hello, my name is Paul Benyon, one of the sales engineers at Hard Dollar Corporation, and we are going to talk today about synchronizing with Microsoft Project so that you're able to send not only the tasks and activities that you've defined in your estimate, in your project in Hard Dollar, and have that information go into uh, Microsoft Project automatically, but also be able to send cost information into Microsoft Project from Hard Dollar. Perhaps you need to submit a schedule and have cost information in there, or as you're reviewing the schedule in Microsoft Project, maybe you just want to see your cost elements in there at the same time. So let's walk through how you can do that. <clears throat> Here we're looking at an example project. Here we can see all the items have been scheduled, all costs have been defined, and if we open up Microsoft Project, we can see that it is kept in sync at this point. When I launched that, it launched all of my activities or cost items into Microsoft Project from Hard Dollar. And it also brought in, of course, the durations and days that were defined in Hard Dollar as I was figuring out and costing out my estimate. But at this point, I don't see any costs in Microsoft Project, and if I pull this column over, we can see that uh, I only have these columns that are, that are on display. Well, I can, as you can see here, add a new column in Microsoft Project, and Hard Dollar actually uses some of those hidden columns to put in the costs that have been defined in the estimate. So let's go ahead and just right-click, and we're going to insert column. Now you can see that right off the bat, there's a number of user-defined columns that Hard Dollar has taken and defined automatically. So for example, if I wanted to see just my labor cost in a column for all of these tasks, I can select that, and it now shows up. So for a mobilization, there's $1,618 in labor costs, and that's coming directly from the labor cost that was defined in on the Hard Dollar side. Let's go ahead and add one more column Let's assume we want to see the total cost. The total cost is stored, again, in one of the hidden columns. Uh, it's stored, actually, under what Microsoft Project refers to as fixed costs. So if I scroll down to my uh, fixed cost here and select that, we now see the total cost load in from hard dollar. And if I take a look, for example, just at mobilization, we have 8,326.56. And if I toggle back over or jump back over to hard dollar, we can pin down that mobilization. There is the 8,326 that was defined from what I had detailed for mobilization using the resources and hours productivity uh, that I had defined on that item. So now I'm able to go into Microsoft, uh, see cost information in there as I am working through my schedule. That wraps up our session for today. We'll talk to you next time.